Hello and welcome to this brief introduction video to help you become proficient with the Genesis environment. My name is Bill Clausen. I'm an engineering consultant. And as an engineer, I'm faced with the daily challenge of getting design projects completed on a timely basis. And probably like you, I can't spend time on software learning curves. Oftentimes I need to evaluate a simple network. And this is one example where Genesis really shines. To help illustrate this, let's start with a simple example of a low-pass filter. We start with a fresh schematic. In this case, we're going to place components using hotkeys. I'll use the L key to indicate an inductor and drag it horizontally. And then a C for a capacitor, drag that vertically. Then hover the mouse over both connections, ends, to make a connection. Now I'll click on the inductor. Uh, to specify as a value, we'll put in 100 nanohenries, and for the capacitor, 50 picofarads. Now I'm going to duplicate this inductor by selecting it and then pressing Control D. Notice when I press the F3 key, I can rotate the component. I'll connect it then. Now I'll add an input port, pressing the I key, an output port with the O key, and G for ground. So in less than a minute, we've completed our circuit. I will then run a simulation. And to look at the output, let's uh, generate a plot from the output port. And here we've generated S21. And uh, here we're going to tile the window so we can see one side by side. I just used the Z key to zoom in on a schematic. Let's also look at the return loss. So I'm double click on the, uh, on the graph. I enter in S11, press OK, and we have both S21 and S11 displayed simultaneously. Now we'll select all the components by drawing a box around it, and then from the schematic I'll make those tunable. Notice that the color has changed to green, and if we uh, look at our components here that appear now in the tune window, uh, I will select the capacitor here and use the mouse wheel the tune. You notice this is very smooth tuning. Uh, updates are very quick, uh, and Genesis is a very fast uh, engine for uh, for optimization and tuning. So let's look at uh, return loss in another way. I'm going to generate another graph by clicking on the input port. Uh, instead of looking at the rectangular graph, let's look at a Smith chart version of that. When I press OK. There we have our Smith chart. And you'll notice that uh, I'll resize this here and move it over to the side. But when we go back to the tune window and I start tuning the components, you'll notice both displays update uh, simultaneously. So in the last couple of minutes, I think we've shown you how productive you can be with the Genesis environment and how easy it is to get up and running using a few mouse clicks and uh, key presses.